Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you Relic Flow from Alexander Zolotov, the developer of Soundbox. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. Okay, so it's really the successor of uh, Relic Waves. Indeed, I'm inside the AUM, as you can see. I have uh, two audio channels. On the first one, I have Relic Flow, which uh, you can see well, it looks like this. You can trigger different samples and um, it's quite unique. It's uh, very much uh, a generator of uh, lo-fi rhythms, drum, drum loops, patterns, okay, based on the unique um, synthesis algori algorithm from Night Radio. Okay, and um, and that's the main difference from Relic Wave because Relic Waves was not created for rhythms but more like a generic synth. <laughs> This is Relic Waves, and as you can see, compared to Relic Flow, so very much Relic Flow is uh, um, being built to create rhythm patterns, okay, drum drum loops, that's the main difference. It works very much like Relic Waves, so if you are already familiar with Relic Waves, so there is not a lot more to learn on Relic Flow. Of course, you can do some BPM sync here, yeah, which you, which makes absolutely um, sense. But in terms of interface, it's exactly the same. You have different uh, samples that you can trigger you can generate new sample here, the next set of sample or the previous one. And then of course, so you can lock. If you click on lock and you can see the one which are locked. So you decide if you want to lock them or not. And if they're locked, of course, they will not change as you generate a new set or a new batch of samples, or you can go by code as well. So <clears throat> same controls, you can change the volume. And um, the BPM, let's see. Stereo, increase the verb, echo, interpolation. So the controls are quite simple. You can record, of course, and um, uh, what you generate. And of course, you can also export it as um, import it inside the sandbox uh, as a um, sample in effect only in one file. So that's uh, actually quite good. And the free dot gives you access to the menu where you can load, save, reset the parameters. So you can do export, import. You can decide how many octaves you have. You can do MIDI mapping, and of course, on site MIDI mapping, you can do MIDI mapping for volume, BPM, stereo, reverb, echo, interpolation in the algorithm as well. Previous code, the next code, parameter hold as well. And you can do learn here, okay? You have a kind of standard uh, parameters. So it's, um, it's very simple to use some system setting, of course. Uh, for interface and audio as well. And I think what is quite good as well is, um, you know, if you like to do so, if you use your iPad, for example, or your device touch, you can have, you can have both Relic um, flows and really, uh, Relic flow and Relic waves really on the same screen. You can play them together. <laughs> That's quite nice. Um, 
there is um, there is a lot that you can do, of course, um, for billion or more of different samples, right, that they can generate. So mathematically, this is great. So very much I'm using my fingers on, in this case, on the iPad. Um, and uh, I really love it in terms of uh, being one of those uh, uh, app that, uh, you know, you need to use touch. Of course, you can uh, um, connect it to your external controller. In this case, we are inside the UM, so I connect it to the onboard keyboard. And you can say... I can trigger... Uh, therefore, uh, um, some uh, sample directed from the keyboard. And I suppose that could be good, for example, if you bring in a MIDI channel and um, another application like one of the, uh, for example, BAD application, why not? And we, uh, when we try, for example, Muse BAD and uh, connect it like so. And um, yeah, and then uh, get it. And that's just an example, but of course you could, uh, uh, you know, when you have uh, all the samples that you like, then you can, for example, use in a sequencer if you want to do so. And therefore you can create a pattern with, uh, or a composition with a sequencer triggering, of course, the right samples. So um, in itself, the application is quite actually simple to, to use. And um, it's just a matter of uh, um, generate the next codes trying them out. Say, for example, I like that one, click lock, and I lock that one, which of course you can play in different octave because it's three octave now, that's why you see these locked three times. And you can see the lock here with this top left uh, white triangle. So this is locked here, here and here in terms of three octaves. Then if I don't like the samples below, I just create the new ones. Um, of course, knowing that the previous one, these ones are, this one are locked, so they have not changed. So now I can test the new ones. For example, I can say, yeah, lock that one as well. Now generate the new ones. Don't like that, generate again. Nope. nope. Yeah, that's fine, so I like, like that one. Okay, perfect, so I like all of those, and now I can play. And I could go on like this, and um, Test other samples here. Yeah, I like that one, so I lock that one as well. Yeah, that's nice as well. Not so much. Yeah, let's lock that one as well. And you keep going like this, and then you create really what you like, and then you use the, those samples to play. For me, the magic uh, um, appears when you actually use it in conjunction with relic waves, because then you have a relic flow 
creating rhythms and then you can play on top with uh, relic waves and that is why i loaded it at the same time here something atmospheric ambient um, soundscape type of uh, uh, composition or sounds that's really nice so i'm going to stop here i thought it would be uh, good to give you a demonstration of what the relic flow is and the main differences uh, against the relic waves i hope you enjoyed the short demonstration and tutorial and as always see you next time bye